What's up everybody, my name is Navitz. This is a video showing you how to set up a one-stop shop interface with OBS Streamlab with Streamlabs OBS um, and Twitch to create a professional overlay within a few minutes. Let's get started right away. A couple things you need to do. What you're seeing right now, this right here, the reason there's so many of me is because this is Streamception. So this guy that you're seeing here, this is OBS, or sorry, Streamlabs OBS. There's also OBS Studio. Streamlabs OBS is built off of OBS Studio. Missing a couple features, but a bunch of stuff integrated with Streamlabs to make your streaming experience absolutely phenomenal. Let's talk about them. Let's first talk about how to get this thing set up. So if we take a look up here, we've got some settings we'll get to. Top left, top right over here, no, left for you guys. Top right over here, top left for you guys is the dashboard library editor and live button. We'll show you what those do. Um, right over here, we've got our scenes. Right below me is the sources and over here is the mixer. I'll explain how all of those work. First things first, we need to get ourselves a stream key. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to twitch.tv slash your username slash dashboard and you're gonna slide down. You can do that uh, over here as well. You can click this side, click dashboard and you're gonna slide to the bottom. You're gonna go to channel and after you go to channel, you are going to go find your stream key. So you click stream key. Do not show this key to anybody. Do not give this key to anybody. This key is your personal access gateway to your stream. Anybody with this key can stream to your stream page, uh, to your channel. So do not share your key with anybody. Get your key. Now we're back in OBS. We're gonna go to settings. Get your key. Go to settings. Uh, stream, you're gonna go ahead and install it here. You're gonna put your key in the stream key setting box. Now, when you go to get Streamlabs OBS yourself, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go to streamlabs.com. They're gonna have a Streamlabs OBS client. You can download it right here. It's in beta at the moment. So let's start talking about the settings uh, again real quick. So the stream, it will automatically configure your stream for you, but if you don't know how to set up a basic, the basic output, you want around 2,500 to 3K bitrate, CBR output control. Uh, this is advanced mode. It doesn't matter that much. You can go in simple mode if you want, but play around in here. I'm not gonna get into the guts and details of how OBS works works or OBS studio um, these are your audio sources your video tells you what your base canvas resolution is going to be your output scale resolution this is either 1080 or 720 usually hotkeys let you switch between scenes really easily so you can come in here and configure those I usually use my number pad for hotkeys uh, advanced settings don't want to get into those overlays we're gonna get into those in a second notifications we're not gonna mute those and appearance so some of these settings are very specific to OBS uh, to Streamlabs OBS not the, the not the general version of OBS now that's the stuff at the top right here at the top left let's take a look and show you how to create a beautiful interface within a few seconds without with very little work so first our tab we have the dashboard now the dashboard gives you everything that's available on Streamlabs so if you take a look at Streamlabs and I log in real quick we'll see that everything that's available here in Streamlabs is available right here directly in Streamlabs OBS. So if you want to test an alert and test different features or set your alerts and change things, you can change all your configurations for your alert boxes, for your spin wheels, your jars, your bosses, everything is available directly inside the client. That's very fantastic, very nice feature to have. You can set up uh, your follow alerts, your notifications, how everything works, and you can test them from here. I'll show you how to test them in a second, but quick heads up, it's down here. It's this test widgets button. You click this button and it lets you test follows, subscriptions, donations, bits, and hosts. All right, off to the library. This is where you're gonna get all the cool stuff that you want. So if I wanted to install this, I could just install this mint dark one, mint, mint dusk one right here. So what you do is you click on it and you click install overlay. Uh, I've gone ahead and done that already, but I'll do it again one more time just to get it in here so we can see a fresh copy being added to my scene collector. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second, but again, whoa! Everything switched. Yo, guys, look, I literally have, man, look at this. My newest sub, Chromium, Distorted Rage, my top donator, holy moly. Last donation, follow. This is a really nice scene. Now, check this out. I even have, man, it's got my green screen behind me. If I take my webcam and I apply a quick filter to it, I could turn my green screen back into a chroma key. So now I'm in the background of my stream, but I'm at the bottom left. I would have to move all of these together. I'm just going to keep myself here and talk about what this does. So right here, this is your live scene. You got your live scene, your be back or your starting soon and your be back soon. So you can switch between these. I showed you before how to set the hotkeys to switch between scenes really quickly. I showed you guys how to set it up. Now we're going to go back to regular mode. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right. So these here, these are your sources. Um, let's show you how this works. So while you're in this scene, you saw a whole bunch of sources right here below, directly below. This is where all of the stuff 
for the new library features got put in. I don't want to show it right now because obviously I'm trying to make a tutorial on how this works. But if you see here, you can add a bunch of different scenes. So we can switch between different scenes for whatever they do. I have them set up here, but uh, I'm not going to show you all of them. I just have different scenes for different purposes. Some for fitness, some for Dota, some for other games, whatever they are. Um, right here, you can add your different sources. With OBS, uh, with Streamlabs OBS, it makes it very simple to add Streamlabs features. So if you want to add an alert box, you just click add source, add alert box. At, uh, done okay and it's gonna go ahead and create a widget for you you can check you can test your widget settings and do whatever you want so my alert box is right here so my alert box is directly over my face if I want to test this widget and see how it works oh let's see what it looks like when somebody follows me <laughs> click the follow button look at my notification showing up new follower Navitz there he is all right um, you can move things up and down the uh, the the order that things get displayed in is important because if I move this above my webcam, suddenly I'm gone. But if I move this below my webcam, I'm back. Uh, so that's your left hand side. We've got our test widgets. We've got our sources. Our mixer is our information about our audio sources. This is my audio source. Uh, everything that's important in your mixers or in your audio sources uh, is probably in your filters. You can add whatever type of filters you want. I have a noise gate, a compressor, and a limiter. I won't be getting into how to do that, but that kind of stuff helps my microphone quality sound a lot better. Um, and the last tab over here is live. This is when you go live. You can see everything in here at the bottom right. That's where I am right here. You can see my recent followers, subscribers, donations, whatever's going on here. My mixer, my main, and up at the top right, you can switch between uh, light and dark mode just in case you guys don't like the, the, the light mode. Or, yeah, the light, but the dark mode. <laughs> um, and that's it. That's Streamlabs OBS. So you guys see, within five minutes, you are fully functional, ready to go, set up, using an editor, ready to stream that's it uh, I wish I had more for you guys but that's how you stream uh, if you need to go live all you do is you click this go live button right here that's it once you're ready to go live you hit the go live button if you want to change how uh, if you want to change uh, your settings you can play with them in the settings option but that's it easy peasy five minutes you guys are ready to stream if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you guys have anything that you liked about this video at all whatsoever hit the like button for me please do it uh and subscribe if you guys want to see more if you want to follow me on twitch and see me some dota play twitch.tv slash navits peace out